here is the talking canva of group one day seven atmosphere by balane cabalfin abelio and bautista atmosphere temperature varies greatly with altitude the profile makes a z-shape from mesosphere to the ground thermal stratification of the atmosphere troposphere 0 to 15 km from the atmosphere. Upper limit, the troposphere varies between 2 to 16 km depending on latitude and season. The stratosphere, 15 to 50 km from the atmosphere. Contains the stratospheric ozone layer, which shields us from harmful UV light. Mesosphere, 50 to 100 km from the atmosphere. Thermosphere, above 100 km from the atmosphere. Above 60 km is the ionosphere, where there is a significant concentration of ions and electrons. And thermal stratification of this atmosphere. The exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, and troposphere. Composition of the atmosphere. The composition of the gases in the atmosphere is not uniform. Lighter gases tend to rise to the top. Gases are measured in ppm volume, which is directly proportional to the mole fraction. Outer atmosphere. The sun emits radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. Light is the U Ultraviolet region has enough energy to break chemical bonds. Troposphere. Although the troposphere is made up of almost entirely of nitrogen and oxygen, other gases present in relatively small amount it still have a profound effect on the troposphere. Water vapor and carbon dioxide. Gases in the atmosphere form an insulating blanket that causes the Earth's thermal consistency. Two of the most important gases are carbon dioxide and water vapor. This blanket effect is known as the greenhouse effect. Water vapor, with, his, with its high specific heat, is a major factor in this moderating effect. But increased levels of CO2 in the atmosphere is causing an increase in global temperature. Greenhouse effect. And this is the greenhouse effect. And another greenhouse effect. Or greenhouse gases rather. And photochemistry. Photodissociation. Photoionization. Oxygen in the at upper atmosphere absorbs much of the solar radiation before it reaches the lower atmosphere. And this is the ozone in the atmosphere, stratosphere. Ozone. Ozone absorbs much of the radiation between 240 and 310 nm. It forms from reaction of molecular oxygen with the oxygen atoms produced in the upper atmosphere by photodissociation. Ozone depletion in the stratosphere. Ozone depletion. The bonds in ozone are weaker than molecular oxygen, therefore, are broken by lower energy UV radiation. The oxygen atoms react with another ozone molecule to form two oxygen molecules. Chlorofluorocarbons is easily broken through though when the molecule absorbs the radiation with a wavelength between 190 and 225 nm. The chlorine atoms form react with the ozone. Air pollution. There are two types of air pollution, which is primary and secondary. And this is the primary pollutants, carbon dioxide, sulfur, and nitrogen oxides. And the primary pollutions. The secondary air pollutants are ozone, pants, and aldides, all three formed by interaction between 
Nox, and Vox. Photochemical smog. Brown air smog, some primary pollutants react under the influence of sunlight, including NOx, O3, PANS, and corrosive irritant. Common in urban areas of the West US, cars plus sun is equal plus mountain. And this is the sources of our Group 1 Day 7 atmosphere.